I have some code that returns dog ears, and let's say that it's got some kind of weird problem when the age is 70. So I want to debug it by setting a breakpoint and run this under the debugger. And when I do, it will stop at that breakpoint. But boy, I got to sit here and just run and run and run until I get to 70. It sure would be nice to set a breakpoint that doesn't fire until some condition is met. So let's do that. Let's change this to be a conditional breakpoint. And the condition is going to be age is greater than, we'll say 70. And I should have pointed out that this will autocomplete. And it also will remember a history of things that I've done in the past. So now when I set this breakpoint, if I go ahead and run this under the debugger again, it will go until that condition is met. And my conditional breakpoint does exactly what I want. It speeds me up and saves some time. That's not the only way to get to the breakpoint. Uh, there's a manage or view breakpoints button and action with a key binding that will bring up all of your breakpoints, letting you suspend them, edit them, delete them, change their condition.